person would think, oh, this person is calling for Medicare. <laughs> no, Medicare, the actual Medicare.gov, the United States Medicare system, they don't have the capacity to reach individuals, okay? So they're not from Medicare. They're trying to maybe sell you uh, some product that they're selling. So ICAP is only neutral counseling. We, we don't say this will be a good plan for you. We will make you, we will let you understand what this company is about, what this company is about, and we will help you come to a decision which will be a good plan for you. Yes, you had a question. You're responsible for Part B. Yeah. I, I used to think that for the longest time. I worked here and I used to think that. Uh, let's say you buy your Medicare Advantage plan through Kaiser or through HealthNet or Secure Horizon, then they're kind of babysitting your Medicare, so they should take care of everything. I pay them every month. But yes, your $96.40 still goes out from your Social Security check, or $115, or next year it's $115.40, right? still have, that, didn't get that in my head. Monthly? Monthly. Monthly, yeah. But that's if you turn 65 in 2011. Or you started Medicare in 2010. Yeah. Uh, do you mind, uh, go back to the donor enroll. I really uh, uh, moved, lost quite a bit of what you said. Yeah, donor enroll is really. Slowly, uh, maybe if you don't mind, go back one step. I will talk to you. Uh, I will explain. This, this, it would have been helpful for me to bring the just a chart for this one. I'm, I apologize. I should have. I should have done that. Um, so don't exact amount. But here's the deal. Let's say you are under Medicare and you receive prescription drugs. Okay. So they count from January. So today I went to go to Walgreens or um, some pharmacy and then picked up some medication. Let's say hundred dollars and then $80 next week, and blah, 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 okay? And let's say this is March. The amount of money I spent, it has reached 2,800, 2,800, right? Then Medicare is like, you know, they turn on the light, they said, oh, this person has reached the limit. Then you fall into Donut Hole, this place called Donut Hole. Up to that point, you are responsible for 25% of the cost, okay? After that amount, you are responsible for 100% of the drug cost. That means every you're paying for everything until you spend 4,000 to $3,800 on your own. All together, you reach $6,440 or so. For a year? For a year. Some people believe it or not. <laughs> then let's say you're in August. You're out of the donut home. And then from that time, you start paying only 5% of the cost. That's the donut home. There's no donut home, right? <laughs> um, people do reach it. I mean, I've seen many people, if you have something like multiple sclerosis, you, you buy some expensive drug. My heart went out to the when I went to the MS Society for the presentation. So how many of you reached Stone at home? Everybody raised their hand. Because <laughs> their drug is so expensive and then some are oral and some are like shot, things like that. So um, that's another big drug cost um, group. And people in psychotropic medication, um, they, it's nothing to them. This one gentleman I spoke to, um, he said that, yeah, I fall into donut hole in like March, I get out of it in May, you know. He, he, he spent 35,000 a year <laughs> on drugs, prescription drugs alone. Do you, did it help you understand? Yeah, I just want to add okay. a more, uh, I made a summary, a, a summary comment that I'd like to, to clarify for everybody. Uh, Program supposing to help.
help those ones who suffer. During this, the whole, would you clarify the information for okay. everybody, so once for all? What is the change? Okay. All right. So when you fall into the donor hole, the first month uh, after you maxed out, 2,800 or so, okay, um, you start you start to pay the whole cost of the drug, right? During that time, in 2010, you received a 25, $250 check. In and 2010. That's the national health care system. So the, the brand new one, the Obama system, is that correct? Yes. Okay, I want to just make it clear that it's benefiting people who fall into the donor health Yes, care. yes. Okay. That's one of the big changes in Medicare. Thank you. 2011, during the donor home, you get 50% off of the brand name drug. And it's kind of, you know, we get all this excited about, oh, this healthcare reform passed, like, was it in March, I think, March of this year. And then they said, come talk to us about healthcare reform, you know, let us know what are the changes, and they're all excited, and I go out and <laughs> I talk about this. And, what is going on? <laughs> it has nothing to do with me, but it is one of the changes, and it, it's, you know, it's gonna happen gradually, so. Uh, you know, I'm kind of hopeful. I, I, you know, through this very, very pessimistic time we're going through, you know, uh, there's some positive changes, slowly but surely. So I'd like to say that. Um, so as you all know, in 2009, SSI, the welfare check, went down drastically. Um, in January of 2009, we started the SSI check uh, with $907. It was like a little bit of uh, you know, an increase, right? But in May, I think, it went down to $875. And in July, it went down to $845 a month. And it never went up. Okay. And um, along with that, that same week, Betty Cal cut off dental, vision, podiatry, hearing, hearing aid. So um, these are services that, were that are not covered by Medicare either. So these low-income seniors are really on their own. Like if they have a dental need, they, they have no assistance. They have to pay everything out of their pocket. Um, I had to inform this to seniors, groups of seniors throughout Alameda County that month. It, I really hated my job. <laughs> I, I had to go out and tell everybody, no more dental, they're not gonna pay for it. They, they looked at me like, what are you talking about? What am I gonna do? You know, I don't have money to pay for the dental. Our office is almost complete, uh, completed with coming up with the uh, free or sliding scale dental services in the Bay Area. So as soon as we had completed, I'm going to send it to you and you can disseminate it to your groups. Okay, um, they were, Medi-Cal would pay for extraction. They would pull it out, but they would not treat it for you. Pulling it out is not always the treatment, but that's what they pay for so far. Um, so yeah, all these cuts happened in 2009. That's about it. Do you have any more questions or comments? Oh, yes, the vision part, the, the glasses part, you know, getting your eyes checked for your sight, that came back in August, yeah. That came back in August. Um, that's the only thing that came back. I'm gonna leave these materials here. And if there's any more questions or comments, I'm gonna end my presentation. Thank you very much, you guys are great, thank you.